Hi friends, welcome back. Today is Wednesday, December 12th, I believe. And nope, I'm wrong, December 13th. My name is Lynn, I'm the dyer behind Chicken Lady Fiber Arts and welcome to Vlogmas Day. I can't remember. Um, it's been several days since I last vlogged Excuse the camera shaking. I have my hands on my desk. And, oh, this reminds me. Here in my beautiful um, Santaco water bottle, I have some delicious reverse osmosis water that I am enjoying. And... I wanted to let you know that I have not vlogged in a few days because um, my husband's been ill and not only has he been ill, but uh, I took him to um, urgent care. They gave him an antibiotic and a few days later he woke up on Sunday morning as I was getting ready for church. He took his temp and he said, I have a 102 degree fever and I said, get your shoes on. And I took him over to ER, and they admitted him. He had a, a systemic infection. So whatever infection he had, um, it went to his blood, and he was septic. He is home now, praise God, and all is right in my little world again. Yay! So that is why I was not here, and I was uh, taking care of my sweetie pie. Um, oh, also, this whole drinking water thing is kind of a joke because there was a, there was a thread over on Craft Snark, which is part of Reddit, and they were making fun of people who, uh, make vlogs, as I do, for Christmas, so Vlogmas, and making fun of people who show off their cute little mug with their little Honduran picked by pixies and put into little organic muslin bags, tea drinkers. Anyhow, that's what that was about. If you can't laugh at yourself, call me, I'll laugh at you. <laughs> okay, where were we? We were opening up our advent kit from moi based on the movie Grease. I got a little bit more finished on my shawl designed by the always gracious and always fantabulous Liz Clothier of Liz Clothier Designs. Um, we started with the main color, went to day one, day two, day three, and I have started on day four, which is the pink ladies and see i'm not keeping up with i'm not doing my 20 grams a day uh do what you can or wait until after the holidays after all uh the 12 days of christmas is actually after christmas it runs from december 26 all the way to epiphany so do what you want to do Knit what you want to knit or crochet or whatever your craft is. I'm not picky. So day eight, I've already opened. Um, so you don't hear as much crinkling. Day eight was based off of the hopelessly devoted to you song that Sandy sings sleepover, either at Marty's or Jan's house, can't remember. And you see Sandy in her flowing white nightgown with her little blue headband. And she has some pink paper that she puts into that blue pool. And it's night with the trees and the shrubbery all around. And she sings a little love song. So this is hopelessly devoted. Let's do number nine, just for giggles and grins today. <clears throat> number nine is blacks and grays. Who do you think this is going to be about? Well, the T-Birds, the greasers, of course. This group of teen boys attended Rydell High School 
and rebel against social expectations, purposefully breaking rules. Danny, Kanicki, Duty, Sunny, and Putsy wear pomade in their duck-tailed hair, jeans, and t-shirts. Throughout the movie, they can be seen sporting their black leather jackets with the T-Bird's insignia on the back. So there you have it. Day eight is hopelessly devoted, and day nine is the T-Bird's, the greasers, as you will. All right. Aren't those nice together? They're going to be fabo. Okay. I wanted to show some other things to you before I wrap up today. The last time I was with you, I showed you one of my surpresent balls. This is Coral Reef. Each surpresent ball does come in a little bag like this. Solophone bag has a little tag telling you the content of the fiber and there's all kinds of little gifties in there. So this is Coral Reef. One of those gifties, by the way, is either a 10, 15, 20, or 25% off coupon. So that's in the very middle. So make sure that you unwrap your surpresent ball. Here's some other things that are gonna be made into surpresent ball. Raspberry puree and Dr. Stepping Stone. These are misheard lyrics wrapped up into some present balls for you. Um, any other news? Uh, I don't think so. I told you about my husband being ill. He is home and back to his normal self. Praise God. Thank you to those of you whom I texted and say, could you please pray? Uh, my husband and I are big believers of prayer. Whether you call it prayer, meditation, everybody doing the same thing at one time. I do believe that that has a conscious level, a subconscious level of healing. And uh, I am honored. If you have any prayer requests, I'm honored to put you on my prayer list and pray for you. You don't have to give me details about so and so, you know, my Uncle Bob's brother's cousin, Jim Bob, has hemorrhoids. I don't need to know that. Okay, I just, you could just say, please pray for blank, and I will do it. So, um, okay, one last thing. <sighs> My newsletter was uh, woefully late. I'm telling you, this whole illness thing that's been going on in our house and life I've been neglectful of what I normally do. So I know that I have your forgiveness. <sighs> it's been a month. Um, I sent out a newsletter this past Monday that said that my Clue mini kits are on pre-order right now. Those will close very soon. So if you would like the six colors of the Clue or Cluedo, if you're in the UK, Neil, uh, you can get those six colors of the different um, characters. Miss Scarlet, Colonel Mustard, Professor Plum, yada yada. Um, there's gonna be a Who Done Knit make along starting January 1st, 2024. And you need to go on Instagram, Two Sisters and Some Yarn. Here it is. In their bio, on Instagram, there is a Google form that you need to fill out. Uh, if you don't have a Google account, that's okay. However, it does make it easier for Amy, little sis, because she is uh, the, she's kind of the spreadsheet queen. She's, uh, she's not an Xer like me, so. Um, She's got a form that you fill out, and on that form are all of the rules. Uh, I'm going to read some of the rules to you. Um, you're going to the Who Done It is a story written by Amy. It has been checked. Uh, you don't have to make a guess every week, but you have to fill out the form so that Amy can count your participation entry. You can make whatever you want. You can. Um, do any kind of craft, any pattern, any materials. However, she's going to give extra points that are on theme. 
um, and that, uh, you know, have to deal with murder mystery, true crime, New Orleans, that kind of thing. Uh, there are some makers who have created beautiful things just for the who done knit, but you don't have to use those if you don't want to. You know, I know that a lot of people are going to be coming off of the holidays and by dynamics, budgets are tight. Um, we all get that. You don't have to finish your project, but there will be prizes, including finishes, whips, correct guesses, incorrect guesses, and an overall prize. So don't stress about this. Don't think that you have to start January 1st and then end by a certain date in February. And no, I don't know that date yet. Um, some of the podcasters, such as myself, will be giving out clues. Not all the clues are legitimate. There will be red herrings. Um, there will be a telegram chat for the make-along. It's not required for participation. It's just a way to create community and maybe you'll make a new friend out of this. Who knows? Or not. So that's just kind of some of the rules. I'm not going to read all of them too. You can read for yourself, hopefully. And if you can't, please see a teacher. All right. I think um, that's it. I have no other. I'm looking around at my desk to see if I have anything else to show you. I do not. I'm going to go upload and edit and do all of that kind of stuff. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for your prayers for my husband. And we will speak soon. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.